Good morning, guys. <laughs> We're currently here at the vaccination site. Because, <laughs> you know, I just dropped off my wife. But today, you know, let's pick another route to go. <laughs> yeah, kumusta na mo guys? This is Cebu, by the way. Good morning from Cebu. Cebu City. It's Friday morning. It's the last Friday of September. And we are, you know, driving around Cebu City to see, you know, the traffic and the other sites that you can see. So this is the vaccination site. So nanay na you know, people who wants to get vaccinated this is one of the least busy na vaccination centers here in Cebu so yeah if you registered and you haven't you know you've decided that this is the day to get vaccinated yeah one of the best options would be the Southwestern University FINMA uh, vaccination site because it's not too crowded I think while well, most vaccination centers you know um service over 1000 people a day during sometimes it's 500 or less lang dia so it's not as busy as the other sites so wala if you haven't if you haven't uh had your shot uh for kwan for covid you better have it now. <laughs> Don't delay. Come on. So, um, do you want this um, surge to slow down and we want everything to normalize once again? In the Philippines right now, we normally have over you know, 15,000, so 17 to 23,000 normally on range right now in the past couple of days, which is quite high because we were coming from you know days that us that we only have around below 10,000 around 8,000 a day so let's go let's if you haven't been vaccinated get your shot now so don't don't go on um, don't uh, do not um, do not take your time. I mean, I mean, the more of us who has the vaccine, the better it would be. Diba? And yes, as always, we have a simple reminder still that the virus is still here. Um, we're still in the surge. That we have to be, you know, careful still with with everything. With uh, especially when we go out of our house. So even if you know inside the house, you know, we have to be careful because especially if you have someone who works outside and or always outside. So. Traffic here in Cebu is quite light, uh, very light. Um, although yes, um, the cars are back compared. You mean last year? This uh, taxis, the public utility vehicles. We see a lot of pedestrians as well. But still, because there's no classes, uh, there are no classes, so no face-to-face. -face, I mean, no face-to-face -face classes. So. A huge chunk of the population, especially the younger ones, are staying at home. So, anang we don't see much. So this is another vaccination site. This is the UC Alcantara site. So you see a lot of cars park at the side of the road, which is normally um, a violation. But but the you know the CCTO understands that you know this is a vaccination site and if we can offer enough parking spaces it would be a one 
it will not be helpful so see a lot of motorcycles here uh, so. so yes we need enough parking spaces to have this work this yeah this Because if you don't have parking spaces, man, it's always been a challenge now in the cities to find parking spots, which is one now. Which is sometimes is the one that people overlook. Diba? Even the ones opening restaurants, for example, they, they sometimes open places without parking spaces yet they invite a lot of people now who might be bringing their cars motorcycles to the restaurant so yeah it would be a, a big minus if you know if you can't provide parking you have good food and if there's no parking space um one, I mean, you are missing out a lot of potential customers. That's why if you're going to invest in or you're going to start, let's say, a food park or a food stall or restaurant, you have to consider these things. Or else you just, yeah, even if you're going to be a delivery only, you have to find a way where the drivers or the riders can park safely. They can't, you know, they can't be, especially if ever it's in the middle of the city, then uh, the traffic enforcer will just um, catch them or find them, which is really bad for their business and your business. So that's why if you're planning, yeah, if you have a restaurant or um, you're planning to make a business for food or even commerce you have to consider having a parking space for example in this area yeah there are good places to buy stuff but but where will you park I'll probably park at Gaisano but <laughs> that's why yes go on it matters it matters a lot it matters a lot especially if uh, right now carbon market is being developed and the developers uh, mega wide should also think about parking spaces because if they want to attract more people more more buyers um, i'm not saying that all people who drive cars or motorcycles are rich but yes they're one um the potential should be gone. The potential will be will be higher uh, for more sales if if people can be can you know they know that they have a safe place to park, a safe place to um, to you know leave their cars and things. Because you know sometimes you know if you leave things in the car and then people might break in your car and take your stuff so you have to think about it oh. so monang yes you if you're into yeah best business of selling stuff you're gonna have a store stall you have to consider you know having parking slots parking spaces and today we're going to carbon so we're passing by Carbon. Uh, this is Carbon. This is Freedom Park. But soon, yes, they'll be transferred as well. So this is Freedom Park. And then this is... And right in front is the Cebu uh, Cordoba Link Expressway. c -Select. Hello to our friends from c -Select. So mm, What a, a nice view. If only while I wires now. You should remove these wires but yeah since this is being developed by the way carbon market right now is being developed by you know a joint venture with the city government and the mega wide um and i was just here yesterday for 
the launch the the launch of the bagsakan the duly constructed bagsakan for 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 the for the for the to call it for really constructed bagsakan for the you know ambulant vendors oh mana so this will be developed so in a few years time even next year it will change will look different this is the an this is where you buy fish uh -huh. this is um, here in carbon there's fish eggs barato i mean the carbon markets prices is so you know way cheaper than you know if even in uh, other markets like if you go to other places like La Polapo many of the sellers there get their supplies here in carbon so my unit two yesterday we were there the bagsakan um, so the back na modern version watch out for that video it will come out <laughs> I think later oh. uh, so yeah so this is the unit 2 then there's unit 1 so many this will be one a lot of changes will happen soon here um, if plans continue um, the, the present current administration is really bent on modernizing carbon and make it world-class with the help of mega wide or boot to the world uh, so mana hello the lang so mga friends and from mega wide as well and also my friends and from vendors there might be kwan day by the way there are there are challenges also here na na lawsuits right now pending loose lawsuits you know contesting the joint venture agreement na na certain vendor association said na, na na not totally into the project no, diba? uh, na, na they're scared of the displacement and the other the other challenges said na kuan ba mawa ma, ma modern na ni mawa gid ilang ilang livelihood they're scared also of the, the rent increases so it's always a kuan na lisod kina i-balance kina i-balance na it should be done properly sa ang ato lang view ana and then hopefully all the especially the vendors shouldn't be be kuan their voices should be heard more na doesn't mean na kuan kinang lang kuan and we're not anti-progress or totally pro-progress as well but as much as possible we listen to each other and probably find a win-win solution to you know situations to, to or address the concerns lang yun. Yes, ang ilag yung concerns na sometimes ma-display sila or some of the you know, mga sell, sell yung mawang livelihood. Yeah, if you have a mall now there, mm, di ba? The, the livelihood could, could change. So, mana? Um, hopefully, ang carbon market will have a, once the construction site um, starts and then the development there they should go and think of enough parking spaces for for cars I mean for shoppers for one because yeah, they say they want to modernize to attract you know the people na that's not who are not who haven't been to carbon for a while because you know the reputation like you know, it's not it's not the cleanest of course it smells like Smells like a market in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, but it's, they say it's like one again, a backward kunohain. Because sometimes, God, if, especially during in major tourist cities around the world, one of the the attractions, the, 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 
the kuan ng daan default attractions would be would be the public market and and I think yes Cebu should have that as well na where foreigners will kuan can go to the the public market and find local produce or the ingredients that's really ours like mabuad ba ba na for example, if you go to Korea ka nang sa ilang market, yung mga kimchi, mga kwa, not where you can find, you know, you know, the best, the best the city or the region is known for. So, which is, the concept is quite, quite, quite um, admirable because it's been done around the world. Maura ginagawa may ingon. And hopefully the execution will also be quite will not you know really displace in the end you have on the vendors or the the local produce the local products the local one locally grown locally made products should be the highlight in these markets and hopefully yes we'll have parking spaces places for transportation you know it's correct na sometimes you know some people might not feel safe anymore um shopping in carbon or they find it you know unhygienic or uh, hoga or dirty or something like that but hey if you have shopped in carbon you will be shocked with the prices actually diba? i was looking for like banana hearts you you rarely find banana hearts being sold in supermarkets and then carbon i found you know big ones and it's only sold like 20 pesos 20 pesos each and my friend was like looking for kangkong so it's like it's like water spinach or something like that and kangkong yeah <laughs> She said that one bundle is being sold 60 pesos in Lapu-Lapu. She said if, if it's 60 here, I won't be buying. I'll just, you know, buy it there in her city. But yesterday we bought and it's only 30. And we didn't even haggle much. So it was like 30 a bundle. Oh, so, oh, na, ma, na, na, 50% markup na. At least, okay, because you could get discounts. What if I get like 1,000 worth of kangkong? Probably it could be like 25 na lang per bundle. So I get 40 bundles. Then, and then the potential for earning would be like 2,400. So not bad, not bad. Diba? Not bad for business. So, a lot of people who are doing business as well are actually getting stuff from carbon. And yes, mana, if you're really looking for one to save up, especially if you're running a restaurant or um, or even running a big household with limited budget, you have to learn to go to carbon. You'll save a lot. Yeah, good kwan lang. Of course, you have, you know, you have to face the risk. Like, yeah, but it's just dirty or you might not feel safe. Yes, it's not aircon. It's crowded. Of course, but, mona. But you have to, what? To, you know, weigh everything. But if it's price lang, hands down, carbon wins. It's the winner. So, manangguan guys, yes, the carbon development is really on the way. Um, I'll show you the video niya with the launch of the Pagsakan and the awarding of the Certificate of Recognition for Ambulant Vendors. So, you know, so these vendors are now are embraced, this group of vendors embraced the modern carbon market. And hopefully, yes, this is gonna be played well or executed well by the city government and the the proponent which is Pegawide. Nang lang lang yun, executed well 
don't turn that place into one. Himo, mahimo ng SMC side ano na natag. It's not. It's not. It shouldn't be a mall. It should be a market. And maybe you might have a mall component there in your plans, but make sure that the 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 vendors are not displaced lang yun. And then they still have livelihood, and they can you know earn. They can have sales gap on. Because one of my challenge good it's it's a one when you destroy something and you know transfer it somewhere. There will be initial challenges, of course, because some tao mo mo tol tol man we buy stuff for for we are used to, <laughs> and then it's when they transfer, you know, kung sa Chinese pa, you know, that feng shui might change, their location might not be, you know, their positioning, ma mo matter maguna it's like even in merchandising you need to position your goods, your stall in a location that you know, easily be seen or a good location uh, that's will assure you a lot of sales, but hopefully yes, things will be done well, and I'm uh, concerned give, give us good parking spaces, enough parking spaces because that's always been the challenge in that area so now we're approaching Mandawi City already and um, we are we are just gonna turn here This is the little less, uh, yeah, it has less traffic. So a lot of taxis already in the morning. So hello, taxi drivers, yes. May pag, may tagdaghan o mga nakahirong alawa. Yes, it's a Friday. And finally we're here. <laughs> and mauna na, we, I'd like to, Juan, thank you for joining in this ride and listening to our you know chit chat early in the morning and I hope that you will have a pleasant weekend or pleasant rest of September ahead you know it should be super September and I would like to uh -huh, um Give thanks to for you know helping me and joining me in this drive. So make para the drives are always boring with you out you. <laughs> so mana guys, thank you so much for watching. This is how Cebu looks like on September 24, 2021. Um, we are yeah, last Friday of September. Really traffic's uh, fantastic <laughs> really light and then yeah we we've, we've been to from southwestern university we've been to carbon and then now we end up here uh, in mandawe so we passering osmenia and you know indian our traffic situation is pretty okay the roads are fine and and Cebu looks the weather is really good good for driving good for going out on the payong nanisya but yes um it's sunny weather it's some summer weather but of course there are, you know occasional rains and thunderstorm storm uh, because it's still september so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in another videos and let me know if you want to see certain parts of cebu next so that we can we can go there and you know drive and I let you see I'll be your eye on Cebu so this is like a virtual tour so if you miss places in Cebu let me know so that we can you know pass by there and thank you so much for watching bye bye bye